Good morning, my beautiful people. It is Sherry Moulton back with another video. We're at the trailer again. I'm excited. Been here for two days now. Um, we're going to do some flowers today. So I'm going to unveil some of the flowers that my daughter and I did last week in the silicone gel. And then we're going to put new ones in. So I'm going to show you how to put them in. I bought a bouquet. Like, look at this. But look at this one. I'm hoping they dry nice in the silica gel. And then of course we've got these cute little ones. And then I thought I could do some leaves. And then on my drive, I picked up these. These are weeds. I don't know if these are the Queen's Anne's lace. Or I don't know. But they had all kinds of them. So I'm going to try those. And I'm going to pick a few more of my little ones because we're going to put do those ones in the microwave. So with that, I'm going to get in the kitchen. I'm going to grab somebody here. And this is little, this is little cat dog. My husband named her cat dog. But anyways, so we're going to go inside. I'm going to be in the kitchen because we have to use the microwave. So I'll see you guys in just a couple minutes. The button, always the button. Hey, we are now inside. I hope my lighting is okay. I have a hard time getting the lighting all figured out. But anyways, so we're in my kitchen in the trailer. I got my microwave over here. And I'm just going to unveil the, the silica stuff that my daughter and I did last weekend. So this is the product that I used. I will link it. I did get it on Amazon. It is flower drying silica gel crystals. And this was about $60 Canadian, so it's a little bit pricey. But in the long run, it's always reusable. You don't throw it out. It's not one use. And if it's um, moisture indicating, so I'm having to look at it because I really didn't read the directions very well. Um, but apparently when it turns a different color, you throw it back in the oven for a low temp or that kind of idea to dry it back out. And then you just keep reusing it and reusing it and reusing it. So that is pretty cool. So that again was a um, Steve McDonald buy. Thank you, Steve, <laughs> along with the next product. So I put them in these Tupperware containers oh, and this one. Oh. And these are the ones I did last time. So I'll show you what I did, which I'm pretty sure I showed you in the other video. So this one here, and it's kind of a baby version of this one. So our big version. So I took one that was partly open. So we're going to do that one today, but that is so pretty. Like, I don't know. I'm going to We'll bring you down so you're not seeing my ugly mug. You're going to get into seeing what we're going to do here. And I hope I got everything all set up right. So yeah, so this is the beautiful flower. Pretty, pretty. So that's from last time. And my big thing that I loved, I did one of these in a coaster, which is going to be in an upcoming video. Look how that one dried. I hope you're seeing this. Let me. So that one is gorgeous. And then. Oh my goodness. A fuchsia. That is beautiful with the stamens still. So let's get into what we did. We're going to open up the ones that we've got going on. And I may rearrange these so I can use those containers. I'm just going to move my light a little closer because to me it looks like it's so dark. And I'm hoping I can get this right for you guys. It's all trial and error when I keep moving my studio around. There, I hope that's better. All right, let's get this little guy. So I'm just going to dump it into this bowl so I can reuse it for next time. Oh, there we go. I can't remember what to put in here. Oh, these are more of the fuchsias. Look at that. I'm going to set them all. I'm going to pull them all out. I'm 
I'm gonna sit them down and then we'll look at them. Because you want to be delicate with them because they will break. And I think these would be so pretty. Now there's leaves in there. I'm not worried. Like, look at that. Is that not beautiful? Like, look. Where are you? And then I'll bring you in so you can see these. Let me see if I can bring you in. Oh, it does work today. Every other day. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. Like, look at that. This is so adorable. Alright, so now I have a bunch of these little guys. So I'm going to set these up top here. So they're not... Here, I'm going to put them right on this lid so I'm not... Uh, handling them too much. And I thought these would be gorgeous in a pyramid mold. I think so. Okay, I'll bring you back out so you're not... Oh, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way, go away. There we go. Now these are some more of those bigger flowers, like you can see. Um, and it's hard because you don't want to dig in into it. I did some leaves, some stems of the flowers. And it does take a lot to cover them. Look at that. That is stupendous. Another leaf. And this was only a week. Now, if you're finding they're still moist, then you need to... Oh, boy, guys. Then you need to leave them for a little bit. Look, I'm losing the petal. Okay, these ones are going to have to come from underneath without ripping them. Oh, my goodness. Okay. This is the hardest part because you don't want to ruin them. Taking them out because they're so frail. Woo! Another one. And we'll keep the leaves because we can use those. <clears throat> Be pretty to do one in a... Oh, my fingers are sticking to everything. What's that? We can do one in a, a pyramid and have the leaves falling off, like have the plant, the flower, and then have some of the leaves dropping down. I think it'd be cool. It is kind of warm here in, in Ontario. Oh my goodness, it was so hot yesterday. Everything's sticking to me now. Look, look at that, the color stayed so pretty. Like, I don't, I didn't pick one of those ones for today, but let me just get in here. I don't want to lose any petals off this pretty one. And then with this, I would just take a little brush, like a little makeup brush, and brush off the silicone. Look at that. Stunning. And then capture all of... Oh, my goodness. They're like... It's like tissue paper, so they keep sticking to my fingers. Okay. I did all kinds of little leaves. Some broke, some are good. Oh my goodness. Look at look it's like it's like sticking to me. <laughs> and it goes from one finger to the other. Oh my goodness. Okay. More petals. Another petal. I don't re quite remember what all we put in here, so I'm going to... Oh, there's another flower in here. Oh, there's more petals. There we go. And that's the thing with these flowers. They're so delicate. And I did do a test. Yeah, this one's kind of half fell apart. But you know what? That's still gorgeous. And the stem 
And I'm going to try and catch all these little petals as I'm going to dump. Maybe. Stick them on the side. Woo! Now I do have all these little containers, so I was trying to be get as many as I could because I'm always the I'm the most impatient girl, I tell you. When it comes to doing something, I'm an instant gratification kind of girl. And I wasn't having very... I wanted to get what I could out of one batch. So those are just little broken parts of leaves. And you can sift it through a sifter if you want to get all of that out. But to me, that should be fine. So what I'm going to do this is the stuff that we want to do with these big flowers so I have let me see this guy and I cheated I went to the store like is that not gorgeous so I'm gonna snip it as close as I can let me get this out of the way to the top like that right maybe just a little bit so it it can there and the thing is you want it in a container that it's going to be sufficient and i think because this is all encased right so i think this might work in this one so let's pour <clears throat> Oh my good, my hands are so sticky. Okay, let's get a little container and we'll use it. I'm gonna dump on the bottom. We're gonna place that in there. And these are so fresh that they're, I don't know, might not be tall enough. Let me see. There. And then I'm going to use this just to scoop around. You want to make sure it's all covered. Get in between if you want those petals to stand up. And did you see what I mean by it takes a lot? So that's why I was doing it in this big container so I could get a bunch in there. And the thing is, you want to leave it there. I'm going to leave it like that and put my lid on it if I can. And the lid doesn't need to be on it, but you want to make sure that you do not move this. Like you can see a little here, but the same happened with the other one and it did, it was fine for me. So that was that one. Now let's get, I have these blue, I got this gorgeous. Okay, so we're gonna do, again, the same idea, cut enough so that you can stick it in. And let's see, is this gonna fit in there too? Oh. Maybe we'll put it in here and I'll do a bunch in here. So I'm going to put, it's kind of touching on there. So I'm going to pour a bottom layer in here. And you guys, are, oh, I just threw it all over the counter. You guys are going to be disappointed because we won't see these this week. This ain't going to be in the video. But we will have it so that you can see it next week. When I come back, we'll do a part two of this video. Oh my goodness. Making a mess over here. These are gorgeous. So we're gonna do these. So I'm just gonna cut them again, right from the base of the flower. I got three pretty ones, so we're gonna do three. <clears throat> And 
then I've got these blue ones. So, oh my goodness, Sherry. And these. So I'm going to see what I can get in here. So I'm going to do one, two, because this, and there's that little bud, but I'll do two. Maybe the bud. I almost bought a second bag of this because I finding like this, I want to do a whole bunch at once. So the blue one in there, that's gorgeous. This, oh, that looks like um, candy cane, nice striped. Did another blue one over here. So you can just want to make sure that they're, you got to give them room. Let me pull that one leaf that's not the best off. There we go. Actually, if we can do this a little, move this guy here. We can put this guy here. Oh, these are just beautiful, these guys. There. We'll do this one here. I know they're kind of a little bit touching, but I think we're gonna we're gonna play, <clears throat> and then we're gonna put this bud in there. So we'll put him there. I think we're good. I got. Let me see. I've got these carnations, little wee guys, orangey yellow. We'll see if we can put one in here. Oh, like that maybe. Or like that there now we're gonna gently cover I hope the colors stay like I love that blue and these weren't bad they were it was ten dollars for the flowers for these ones and you can layer so once this gets filled you can put leaves on top maybe I'm hoping I have enough it's kind of why I wanted to get a second bag <laughs> I did my first harvest of some tomatoes oh my goodness we're gonna have them with tonight's supper. I want to make sure all the leaves are covered. Now give it a little, little shimmy shake, just so that you get it down. And I'm gonna to have to get a little fine sifter, like I do with my flow trawl. When you sift the flow trawl, you can sift this. Let me do a little shimmy shake and maybe we could put, there, these are, nope, that's the flower. I was going to say these are little bits. <laughs> okay. What I might do is um, one or two of the leaves from here. So we're going to put that in there like that. This ones are from the carnation. Um, I wanted to do some of these because I think these leaves are pretty. So let's do like that. Actually, since it's going that way, let's do that. Actually, I like these leaves. These are pretty. Hopefully, we'll do some here and we'll do some in the drying to see if they, which way is better for these guys. Okay, there we go. And then we're going to cover these up. Oh, let me see. I did take out two more. One. I did get these from my garden. These are from my hostess. Oh, I should have put them in there. 
and then another one of these guys. So we're gonna put that guy there. We'll see how it does laying down. And this guy we're gonna stick. Nope. I should have done that. My bad. Actually, let's put these since I've already got some. We'll put those in the in the microwave thing. So let's go. We'll get this done. And I feel really bad because we're just going to dump it all on because we're done. Okay. So there we go. So we have that gorgeous flower here and we've got all those other ones in here. Give it a little shake. But you want to make sure everything's covered. I'm going to remove those. Put my lid back on. And these guys are going to cook for a week. Even they're not cooking, but you know what I mean. So I'll set them on behind my stove. And now this is the other part that we're going to do. See, I should have put that in there too. Oh my goodness. See, that's why I want more. We'll try and do these on the little microwave thing. Okay. So this is the other kit that, again, Steve did a video on. It is the... Abu Fix Microwavable Flower Press Kit. It's crazy because the link that I had, it was, I think it was $12 American. And then you go, it's all on Amazon. You go into the Canadian site and it was triple the price. It was over 50 some dollars, but yet it was to, I don't understand how it jumps so much. So it comes with, Sorry, I'm moving all my other stuff. It comes with this plastic tray with little holes. It comes with two felt, very thick felt pieces. And it comes with four cloths. I'm gonna say they're cotton. I was gonna say they were satin, but they're more so cotton. And then another piece, and then an elastic band. So basically all you do it says when it's new that you can spray this with a very small amount of water. So you do not burn your flowers, it says. So you put one of these down. You put one of these guys down. It does stain a little. And then we go ahead and put our flowers. So I, let me find my... All right, these are the ones I did. So I'm going to show you what I did. Okay, those are these. So I'd already done some leaves. Um, I have these little flowers again. Let me see if you're actually in there. So that's that flower, which is that flower. The color changed so much. So I don't know if I did it too long at first. So we're gonna try it again. And then these little wee flowers, they kind of look a little bit like a pansy, but those were the little flowers. And they were the ones that I put inside of that, um, holographic mold I was trying to make. <clears throat> Lesson learned. Don't put glitter. Don't put everything else. You want to just focus on the flowers. I have lots of counter, but for some reason, it's all gone right now. <laughs> okay. So this is the one. We're going to flatten down that. Give it just a little gentle push so it lays flat. We will do this one and you don't want them to touch so I'm going to bring it up here so that's not quite and give it a little gentle tap pretty colors now I had this one I don't know what plant it's from so we're going to put that there and These are those little ones. I was just kind of giving them a press down because 
I was finding that I lost my scissors. I'm always losing everything. Oh, there they are. Just gonna snip it here. We're gonna get a bunch of these little ones. You want it as close because you want it to lay flat, right? There. And then we'll spread them out. And give it just a gentle... It's going to go anyways once I put it together, so... Let's move this guy a little up here. I don't want it over the edge, but I want it close to the edge so I can add more flowers. And this part's... And you know what, actually? It's probably better if I did it that way. So it's laying flat, and then when I put the... Aha! See? Trial and error, guys. And this is how we learn. That's a better way to do it. Just flip it upside down since it's already wanting to go that way. And then when I put this on, it's going to flatten it. And... Oh, I'm so disappointed because I wanted to put those in the other silicone. These ones, because this is so pretty. So let's try this here. And we'll do this other little purple one. And do we do... Let's bring this up this way. Let's do this fuchsia. And see what it looks like in the dryer. And then also, like I said, I wanted to do these. I'm going to snip this off because I want to do one of these. Because wouldn't that be gorgeous in like a black coaster? Oh, my goodness. So, anyways, endless, endless. So we're going to put it together. So this is how we want it. Now you got to check your microwave on how your strength is. That, this on here, and this on here, hold it together, and then you're going to give it this, and that's it. You got a bundle. So, with the, I keep blowing all my little ones. So, with the directions here, it says, uh, When you first get this kit, you have to prime it. So like I just said, sprinkle a little bit of water on the felt pieces and the fabric and then microwave it for 10 to 15 seconds on full power and that way it keeps it so that you reduce the risk of burning your flowers. And then it says, I'm trying to find where it says the wattage. Oh, there we go. Okay. So specimen should be dried in stages starting with an initial burst and following by as many short bursts as needed to completely dry the specimen as a guideline initiating initial burst should be about 45 seconds on a 600 watt oven 30 seconds for a 750 watt oven and 20 seconds for a 900 watt oven so that's what there okay if you want to maybe screenshot that but you have to have the machine so um so my machine so look on your machine mine is a 900 watt and it showed it in the front so i'm going to put it in my microwave i'm going to do it for 20 seconds on the first let me double check because you know I read, but then I lose it. I'm getting old. All right, 20 seconds. And we're going to do that. So while that's doing the 20 seconds, I'm going to cut these guys off. And I'm hoping that we can do some of these. I think that'd be pretty. And then we're going to do like this. We'll do the leaves. So there's 20 seconds. Let's get that back out. Like I said, this goes so fast, it's crazy. 
All right. And I know 100% we're going to have to put these back in. So let's see what they look like. Look, see? It's warm. <gasps> no, Sherry. Let's go the other way. What? It's everything sticking. And you got to be careful. Like it was lifting the flowers. I didn't want them to go crazy. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh. Look at that. That's crazy. Okay, I'm seeing this is done. That was my problem when I did the other ones. Is they all went so dark was because... No, they're still, they need to go in. I was afraid that I was, look at the blue, look at the color on that. I was afraid that it was going to burn. So, and then you want it dry because if you have any moisture and you're putting it in resin, it'll go moldy. So I was afraid that I burnt them. That's why they were that darker color. So we're going to put this back in and it says, Second burst should be about half to one third of the initial burst. So I was doing 10 seconds for a 900 watt. So let's do, I was, or 20 seconds, sorry. So I was doing 10 after. So let's get 10 seconds in here. And let's cut some more leaves while we're doing that. Cause we're gonna do a, a batch of leaves and maybe We'll do some of that. I'm pretty sure it's Queen Anne's lace. Here we go. Here we go. Mm -hmm. That one's going to take a long because it's very thick. It's still quite... So, you know, I think... I think these are all done. Look at the difference. That one to the 3D'd one. That's kind of cool. That almost looks, well, you know what? I think that's still a little bit, a little bit wet. We'll do one more. Yeah, these guys are of hard to tell so we'll do another 10 second burst and that big one <clears throat> is going to take a while so what i might do oh let me see here so we'll do i'll take the other ones out and put that one back in for 10 seconds and this is easy i just like i am so impressed i'm wondering i've got two more carnations and we'll do these flowers maybe that's garbage. Okay. I was gonna pause and, and start and pause and start, but my thoughts are it is just as easy. Only 10 seconds, it would be more of a pain. Let me just try it open these. Oh yeah, we lost that big pink one. Oh my goodness. So let's do we're going to take them off and I'm going to set them over here. You know what? I'm going to give them one more because they're still a little damp in the centers. And I lose track, guys. This is three. Initial and this will be the the third burst of 10 seconds and yeah let me see if we can do one of these I don't know if these will work they're quite thick so I don't know we'll see all right 10 seconds 
There we go. This guy. Oh my goodness. Okay, so you know what? I'm going to take all these off. What I was finding when I knew they were dry, they were coming right off. Like, look at that. Pretty on the back. All right, so I'm gonna line them on a piece of wax paper over here. There's another one. They turn dark. This one isn't too bad. It stayed kind of like the yellowy. Lay them all on this wax paper and we can show you them. <clears throat> that one's cute. I'm just gonna place them all over there and then we can, we'll take a peek at them. That one's still a little bit damp. What I'm finding is when they're ready to come off, after they cool, they'll just come right off. So <clears throat> these guys aren't, see the little one? Do you see what I mean by when I'm pressing it, it's lifting? So that is good. Let's see if this little guy lifts. No, nope, that part's still there. And this guy, yeah, no. Okay, so we're going to go in with another burst. Another 10 seconds. You could do, you know, 20, 20, but I personally would just keep doing the 10. And that way you know that you're not going to burn them. That would be a waste if you burnt them. So, yeah, so we'll do those. I really want to do these because when I get my, I bought flowers before and we've got these, but I want to do the whole thing in silicone, silicone, silica gel. Sorry. I'm stuttering. What the heck guys? I've only had one coffee this morning. So, all right. Oh, and I'm excited. I went to bingo at the trailer park last night. They host a bingo every Saturday night. I won twice. I won the big $12, <laughs> which is funny. All right. And it's warm. It's warm to touch. So give it a second in between is what I was thinking because once it cooled a little bit, it released from the, the cloth. All right. Let's see. Yeah, see those are still. There we go. There's the little purple one, whoops. Oh, there you are. So kind of cute. And I would love to go for a walk, pick up some wildflowers. Oh my goodness. I drove to get some, yeah, see this one still. Because it's 3D. It was three dimensional, so it's gonna take a lot like this one here, I think might not work because it's so thick. Okay, so we'll put that back in for another 10. All right, let's get this on here. So. Yeah, so what next one we'll do one of these 
and one of these. I'm thinking those ones might not take as long. Oh, no, what'd I do that for? I blew all the ones that I had on my, these guys off. My name is Sherry and I'm a klutz. I just want to pick them up before I get, make a mess of them. And this is cute to do with your kids, grandkids, summer vacation, rainy day. One day go pick flowers, next day you can, um, wow, this is really, Look, it's partly coming off. So I got the stem on one part and the flower on the other. So this one wasn't a good one to do because it's so thick. I'm just going to peel it off because it's, it is, it's just going to be a, a mess. it's stuck look at that it's pretty color though I might stick these in the leaves over here the loose ones and I'm glad we have two cloths that one's pretty stained so I'm gonna put that in the bits and pieces over there now let's see if we can get this off <clears throat> I was finding because these are done but their heart they, doesn't want to come off because they're so fine. So I was trying to bend the cloth. You see what I'm doing? Trying to bend the cloth. You hear that's like tissue paper. Get that off. And then Please don't rip, please don't rip. Woohoo, we did it guys, look at that. Pretty, it's almost like a pansy. There we go, whoops, stop sticking to me. And then we'll do this other one. The same process, find an edge. That's what I was doing was going around. Like going against it. Trying to separate it from there. Oh my goodness. You can hear that. Can you hear that? This might be too dry. <clears throat> See, this one, these ones are worth receiving because they're, they felt moist, but they're dry now. That's pretty. That's gorgeous. And this other little guy. Perfect. There we go. Let me put them all together on this piece of wax paper and we'll show you a close up of all these little. The fuchsia turned out really pretty too. I wasn't sure about that. Let's put this big guy on there. So there we go. These are the ones we just did. Awesome. And how long was that? That was five. 10 seconds and then the initial 20 was it five or did I miscount I know you guys will know okay so now let's try some leaves so we'll do this we will do 
let's just do a tip like this and then we will do a bunch of the little ones oh my goodness I've got to open the scissors sherry so we'll do that and then let's just do a bunch of the little petals individually oh there we go It's always nice to have greenery and this is pretty because it's a different type of a leaf it's not just there so let's put all these on here make sure they're not touching let's go this way Let's try <clears throat> these guys are so pretty I want okay I was saying these guys are so pretty I really would love to do them in the silica gel I have to get more I tell you guys so sorry battery died I think you figured that out I'm gonna try to put this in here I don't know if it's gonna turn out or not but we're gonna leave it like that We'll put this we'll try and put that in the center we can do the leaves as well let's do this in the center we'll try to do a couple of leaves around the edge let's put this up here and this little one down here and then we'll put our cloth on and hopefully we can Oh, I might need to cut that stem a little bit more. Trim it closer to the... And here we go, guys. There. Just a gentle push. 20 second burst for the first time all depending on your different uh, look at that that red stained right into the felt that's crazy that deep color in that all right 20 seconds for the first one and then um, maybe what we can do is see about doing these individually I've got like you can cut them off from the initial bottom. There. So we'll put those in the next one. This is the 20. Here, let's move this guy out of the way so I can get you up closer. All right. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be cool. I might be going out picking today. <laughs> I'm gonna bring you down just a little bit more, maybe. these guys aren't very thick so they might not take as long oh my goodness that is gorgeous you know what I'm gonna do one more burst of 10 seconds and then I think these guys are done I know what I'm doing this afternoon I'm going car hunting and buying finding some more of these they had these ones I found one on the corner <laughs> I should I was gonna stop but I didn't they were yellow so i'm gonna go back and get some more of those all right i'm excited i like it as it is whole 
but that's gonna work in here. I'm gonna go, oh my goodness, now I'm excited. Because I think they'd be beautiful in a coaster, just the whole thing. I think, I think, okay, these flower, these are dry, perfectly green, like that is ridiculous. Let me get, oh, put them on that. Oh my goodness. And it's gorgeous to have a different leaf. But I'm more excited to see how these other ones turn out. Oh my my, oh my my. Gently pull off. You can tell I'm concentrating. I'm quiet. Oh my goodness. What in the, let me find something that's, that I can put this on that's not white. Here, let's put it on this. I don't know, I'm hoping that'll come through. Look at that, guys. I am freaking, oh, amazed. Amazed. Look at that. I wonder if it'll show up just on this. And don't don't throw it around. Oh my goodness, you don't want to pick it up by one strand. Oh. There. Look at that. That is okay, I'm done. I wanna drop the mic. Bang. <laughs> well, I am impressed. This, guys, if you, you've seen how long. I wanted to do the video with me actually doing it in the microwave, and that way you could see how long it takes to do it. It's nothing. I will be going and getting a whole bunch of these today, and that's my mission. And I'm going to dry the rest of these. I'm not going to put you through the torture. These leaves are gorgeous. The color stayed. All these little guys, like... Here, let me put them on the other one and you can see them. What we did. Like, look at that. And look at that. The only thing is with these, the colors did change. Right? But it is what it is. That is gorgeous as well. I personally like it 3D. That's in the silica gel. Um, our leaves. Our little purple flowers. I don't know what they are, but they turned out cute too. Amazed, guys. So with that, my amazing people, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I know it's probably a little bit longer, and I apologize from the bottom of my heart for not having a bling bling again. I am <clears throat> finding it a little bit hard doing the <laughs> juggling my whole life at the moment. So and then getting sick this week did not help. So with that, next week, I promise I will have a bling bling and I'm going to continue on with my um, amazing series that I was doing with the dresses. I might just jump right into the wedding dress. And then I got shoes in my mind and I have a purse and all kinds of stuff. So with that, I hope you enjoyed today's video and go over and give Steve a thank you for helping Sherry spend money because this kit, this kit to me is worth the money. Amazing. The silica gel is also amazing. If you're into doing resin, this is awesome. And like I said, I'm going to get another one of these. And when it came, it was double packed. It came in this package and then it came in a, a sealed bag as well, a Ziploc bag. So it's very well done. So with that, <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, if you have not yet subscribed, please think about subscribing. There's always something at Sherry's channel. Like we learned how to do some flowers. We learning how to 
everything. I go from painting to glitter, everything. So with that, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you hit that bell up there for notifications and hit all, I, you will be notified when I put up my next video. And I'm going to go through my spiel. Everything that I used here today will be listed in the description box, except for the flowers, because they came from nature. So, <laughs> so with that, um, in the description box, I have the links to where to purchase Fundy Molds with a discount code. I have the links to where to purchase Tri Art Liquid Glass. I have the links to <clears throat> Let's Resin with a discount code of Sherry M10, capital S, capital M. I have, and I have the links to Crystal Resin with my discount code. New discount code is all Sherry Molten 5, capital S. I have the two amazing Lorez distributors. I have Michelle from Artworks Resin Canada. My discount code for Michelle is Sherry Molten 10. And I have my amazing Laura from Laura's Art Corner, my Glitter Guru, my American Lorez distributor, and my discount code for Laura is all capital letters Sherry Molten 10. And also I have the links to uh, Julie Cutts's, um Amazing Molds. It's in the description box as well. And also I have my discount, my, sorry, my PayPal link if you choose to help donate to support the channel. And I also have my Amazon, which I'm an affiliate with. So with that, my amazing people, I hope you have an amazing Sunday and I will see you in the next one. Love you guys. Bye.